Hi, it's Molly from the Inside Voice, and today we're going to talk about why voice teachers have you draw that imaginary semicircle while you sing. First things first, if you've never actually had a voice teacher tell you to draw that imaginary semicircle with your hand, you probably have no clue what I'm talking about. So let's discuss it. Often, when you're hitting a note, particularly the high note in an ascending pattern, like voice teachers will ask you to draw that circle as you approach the note. It'll look like this. So why does she have you do that? Well, perceptually, it tends to do a few things when everything goes according to plan. It causes you to stay on key better without going flat. It gives you a fuller tone that doesn't sound as pinched. It gives you a more ringing, spinny tone with a more even vibrato. And it gives the note more body control and connection. But why does this one simple gesture tend to accomplish all these things at the same time? First, the upward part of the gesture tricks your body into hitting a higher pitch. Head voice may not be created in your head, but you do often feel some sympathetic resonance there, so a gesture towards the top of your head will help aim the note. That's the least of it, though. The up and over motion can also trigger a response to lift your soft palate, that cushy area at the back of the roof of your mouth. When you lift your soft palate, it's not only easier to access the top of your vocal range, but your voice also becomes less dull sounding. Let's move on to another physiological response that this motion triggers. For this, we're going to travel downward from our soft palate to the largest cartilage in our larynx, the thyroid cartilage. The thyroid cartilage is where your vocal folds attach on the front end. When you tilt your thyroid cartilage forward, your vocal folds stretch and lengthen. This action tends to make for a sweeter, mixier sound that also facilitates vibrato. When you draw the semicircle around your ear, that downward motion that helps you feel like you're tilting triggers an actual tilting that takes place within your larynx. Okay, I know that's a lot of information, but now we have to move even further down into our bodies to our breath. As you've probably heard by now, singing is very bound up in what our breath is doing. If our airflow is too jerky, we'll get a sound like this. Ah. The evenness of our little gesture tends to influence our airflow to come out evenly and slowly in an optimal way many voice teachers refer to as flow phonation. Aren't our bodies amazing? There have been more reasons this gesture works, so for the full video on this topic and many more, check out our Inside Voice site and sign up for one of our paid tiers. See you next time.